Okay, so hi and welcome back to this video. So, uh, last time we left off, um, we were we allowed the user to send messages to uh, other users, as I'll show you now. We hit send message. We hit browse. And now we have one row uh, and it says that Cinema sent it to Francis, which is correct because of what was up here and the way that we're logged in as Cinema. So we're going to um, create a new page. And the uh, new page was going to be called. Um, Messages.php. No. Um, we'll just say my messages.php. So we first are going to include ink slash. Okay, so now if we go to uh, the page, okay, actually, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, mm, add more menu items because it will make it easier to get to all this. So let's copy account settings. And say my messages. So if we refresh, now we have my messages. If we click it, we have a blank page. So, um, first thing we're going to do is grab the um, let me see. Messages for the logged in user. So we'll create a query called uh, grab messages. Select all. Oops. All from private messages where username equals user uh, get message equals mysql fetch associative as I always say wrong so uh, grab messages okay first thing we need to do is Uh, right, so we're going to create a while loop for this because we wanted to do this for every message that we get. Now we'll say um, id equals get message id and uh, we'll just copy and paste this a few times. The next one is user from user to message body uh, finally date and opened. So now we've got all those, we can just echo message body. So now we'll have one message. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so I know the problem. So uh, the value, the um, row username doesn't exist in the private messages table. So we just need to say user two. Now if we refresh, hmm. get rid of that. So we refresh. Yeah, okay, it's because cinema doesn't have any private messages. So we'll just log in as Francis. And now we see hi, how's it going, which is the uh, message body of the first message we sent. So that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to echo. Um, The uh, let me see message body, but up here I'm gonna say if strlen message body is is greater than ten, then I'm going to say echo uh, echo st Oops. str sub no it's a uh, sub str mm. so it's a uh, sub str message body um comma zero which means it'll start at this uh, beginning Okay, so actually I'll explain this. So what we're saying is if the string length of message body is greater than 10, we want to echo, and then we'll say, uh, sub str, which means it'll show part of the string, so it'll show the first 10 characters, basically. And zero means we want to show the, we want to show the character, we want to start at the beginning, so. Um, it'll start at the beginning of this set of the string, and we want it to go ten characters in, and then we want it to append dot 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 at the end. So, uh, so I'll change this to uh, five just to make sure that it's uh, long, so that it's, this string is longer than five, so we can see that this works. So as you can see. Now uh, it shows the first 10 characters of the string and then space dot dot dot. Well, obviously, we want more than that, so I'll say 150. Or else. Now, uh, we could just we could just say message body equals message body. So now we just get echoed it correctly without any dots. So down here, what we're gonna do is we're going to echo the message body, and then we're gonna append a hr, which is just a line. So each message will be separated by a line, and I will actually. Send another message. So I go to Francis profile. I'll send another message, and now I'll say, "How are you today?" Doesn't matter. So sign out. Go back in. And now as you can see, we have two messages and they have a line in between. So, um, we're going to append, also append the user from variable. Oops. 
Now it says cinema and we are going to append a link to it. So it's going to link to uh, cinema's profile. And Now we have a link, we click it, it goes to Cinema's profile. So then we can also uh, say no SMI messages. So now let's refresh. Get my messages. Okay. So now we are going to get the first 150 characters of the message. Uh, and. Uh, the uh, username if I ever sent it. So I'm also going to put in another line break well, that, so that it's a bigger gap. So I'm going to now um, change this actually to my unread oops, messages. And uh, this way they'll be separate, so they'll stick out to the user, so they'll be able to see it better. So um, which ones they have and haven't read. So now I'll say and, so I'll add an and or clause, and I will uh, say opened equals no. So now nothing should change. So if I to change this to a uh, yes. We will get zero. Well, we got nothing. And then, uh, well, as I said, this is just to make it more obvious when you have an unread message. So we can uh, copy this. Change this to red. Change that to yes. So now we will have um, two two uh, things, and just to prove it works, I will edit this first one, and I will set open to yes. And now, as you see, we have one in each. So, um, uh, we're going to say, we're going to give them an error if they don't have any, so, up here we'll say, num rows red equals, and then we'll say if, If it equals one, we will uh, run this code, or else we'll just tell them you don't have any. I'll just say you haven't had any messages yet. And we can uh, copy this. And 
I'm gonna copy this. And there. So then I'll just change this to numbers. Hmm. So it doesn't equal zero. Okay, so that's it. So um that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and uh thanks for watching. I know some of the things I didn't really describe that much, but don't worry, in the next video I'll make up for it. So uh thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe as always, and uh see you next time.